Hello guys, in this quick tutorial I'm going to teach you how to add your own custom ringtones for free to iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. I'm sure a lot of you are in the same boat as I am. I got a new phone and I could not actually get my old ringtones that I'd paid for across onto the new phone for some reason. They just didn't exist. Anyway, moving on. Um, first thing you need to do is go and download iTunes. Install it and then you're going to go across to file, add folder to library, it will open up this dialog box. You then need to point it to where all of your music is stored. Click on the folder, select the folder and then wait for it to import all of your tracks. Once you've imported all of your tracks, just make sure that this box here is set to music. Click on songs, album artist, whatever it is you want to filter by to find the songs. You can also use search up here. For me, I've decided to use this song here for a ringtone, so I'm going to highlight it by left clicking on it, right click and press get info. Now an important thing to note here is the maximum length of a ringtone on an iPhone can be only 30 seconds, so we need to trim the audio slightly. Listen to the track, make a note of the timing when it starts and when it stops for what you want to use for your ringtone, and set the start and the stop time here. Bear in mind it can only be a maximum of 30 seconds. So just type in the start time and the end time here and press OK. Now we need to convert this into a file format the phone can actually use for a ringtone. So with the, with the original file selected, press File, go down to Convert and create AAC version. It will now create a 30 second version of that song directly below the top one. Very important at this stage to go back to the original song, right click, get info, come across to options and uncheck the start and the stop times. Or when you try and play this, it will only play between the start and the stop times. So, now what we need to do, we need to select the 30 second version of the track we're going to use as the ringtone, right click on it and show in Windows Explorer. Select the file right click and rename. We need to rename this so that the phone understands it's a ringtone. So instead of M4A, just delete the A, replace the A with an R so the file format is M4R. Press enter or click off the screen. Accept this. You can see the icon has now changed and it says ringtone. Okay. Now we need to add this back into iTunes. So we're just going to go file, add file to library, I've already got the path here for where it's stored. If you're not sure, the easiest way to grab it is just to right click over to the side here, copy and paste. That will give you the exact file location. Okay, so select the file, press open, it will import it. Now, because it's a ringtone, it's not stored in music. So click here, come across to tones. You can see here is our ringtone. So, what we now need to do is actually copy it onto our phone. Easiest way to do that. There's our tones. Uh, God, how do I going to do this now? Uh, it's all gone wrong. Um, okay, I think the easiest way to do this would be to have that there. Tones there. Let's just show that in Windows Explorer. Let's go across to our phone. That's just going to link. That's not going to work. So, in that case, what we're going to need to do is we are going to need to somehow view our tones over here. I know it's not that difficult, I just can't remember how to do it at this exact second. Of course, because the pressure's on and I'm recording, this is always the way. Um, there we go. Drag it, drop it, onto the phone, press back, come across to iPhone, tones, and you can see there it's copied across. Sorry about that shoddy ending there guys, I had a bit of a, a brain freeze. 
but you can see it's now added onto the phone we've got our ringtone and you can use that just by going to your sounds on the phone as normal so I hope this has helped you out a little bit thanks for watching guys and take it easy